Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I went to, I actually went to two Tuesday mornings. I went to a few different Dollar Trees and I went to one Michaels near me. Um, I wanted to find, to be completely honest, a lot more, especially from Tuesday morning than I did. But I needed to find a planner um, because my planner lineup, I've only found a replacement for my this year's happy planner. And so I was looking for at the very least a, a replacement for a planner that I can use for my Etsy shop and my um, YouTube channel and a planner that I can use for my memory planning. I really did not enjoy the big happy planner for memory planning this year. I just really did not like it at all. I thought I would love it and I just, it was just too big of a space for me. Like you can't really print out, there's not very many sh places that have like things um, kits and things for the big happy planner so I had to make my own like it was just fat and big and it was just I just didn't like it you know so with that being said I went to Michael's in search of a planner I really wanted a spiral recollections planner to use as my memory planner but I did not like any of the des designs that they have put out I just didn't I don't know, maybe you have a different opinion, but as far as the vertical planners, I liked some of the horizontal ones, but I didn't want a horizontal planner, so it was just a mess, and I've been like looking all over the place and dealing with it. Then I wanted one of the Miss Maker planners. It is a happy planner, but it's a Miss Maker version, and I'm drinking coffee because I'm pregnant and I get zero sleep, and it's just life. But anyway, I wanted one of the Miss Maker ones, and Joann's is the one who carries them. And my Joann's is crap and doesn't carry any of them. So anyway, that leads me to Michael's, okay? So I'm going to show you Michael's in Tuesday morning in this haul because they are very small hauls. But I still wanted to show what I got. And you'll see in another video um, my planner lineup, like my full planner lineup, what I'm going to use everything for, and all that jazz. But for now... This is what I got from this haul. I have already put this planner in here. This is a mini happy planner. Now, I did have a mini happy planner this year and I did not use it, but this one, if they would have had this in a classic size, you best believe your bottom dollar, I would have bought it. I don't even care. It is beautiful and I fell in love with it the moment that I saw it. And the last time I saw it there, I left it behind because I was like, oh, you have a happy planner, a mini happy planner that you didn't like. This is gorgeous. It's foiled, in case you can't see on the cover. And it says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalms 119.105. Holy goodness. It is beautiful. I mean, the whole thing is just gorgeous. So it says, walk in faith. I've already put November and December's um, inserted from my other mini happy planner, but this is January, and then you have your monthly, and it's decorated in the same colors. Huh, it's just so stinking pretty, I can't help myself. Then it has the horizontal layout, which is, I just don't enjoy it in any planner except the Target Dollar Spot, and that's because I like the Target Dollar Spot for its simplicity, but every other planner I want to be different. So, I don't know. I'm going to play with this differently than I did before, and I think it's going to work better for me for what I'm going to use it for. So, there's that, and then this is February, February monthly. The weeklies look the same. This is March. April. Oh, it's just so, so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I can't deal with it. May. June. July. August. September. And that's foiled. It, I, it's so pretty. I can't deal with it. Oh, October, that's my favorite one. November, of course my birthday month is my least favorite, but that's just how it goes. And then December. I love it. I think it is so pretty. 
and I just love it. So to help me like it better, I did buy a cover for it. So I got this gold one, which I, I'm glad I liked the gold because it's the only one they had at my store. My store, you guys, it is pitiful, especially lately. Like my Michaels is never stocked in there. It's ridiculous. That's how my stores have been lately. Super disappointing. But I do love it, and I think it goes well with the planner. Um, it's like coppery, and this is gold, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me. I think it is gorgeous. I love it so much. So I think that being able to carry this around with me, I'm not positive that I'm going to use this for YouTube. I might just use it as a personal planner to take on the go. I don't know yet, we'll see, but either way, I got this planner to use and I love it. Okay, so there's planner number one. Last but not least, planner number two, and I still have to find some inserts if I wanna keep my Carpe Diem binder planner or my Recollections binder. I still have to find some inserts. Okay, that leads me to this one. You guys know the struggle I had finding my first planner that I chose for this coming year. And if you didn't see the video of me showing that one, then don't worry because I'm going to do a planner lineup video and show you guys. And I'm sorry for that horrible glare, but if I don't have this light, then we'll be in the dark because it's nasty. Um, there was, again, just like the Recollection Spiral, there really wasn't one that I just loved that really spoke to me. <sighs> there just wasn't. But... That was a vertical. I liked a lot of the horizontal ones, but the vertical ones just were not speaking to me. Now, this did not come with these discs. It actually came with pink discs that are the same color as this guy. And I'm really not into the whole cactus fad, to be honest. It's just not my thing. I don't live anywhere there's cacti. Like, it's just not my thing, okay? And don't really love how simple it is with the stripes in this, but... I changed the discs on it because I didn't, I'm not a bright pink girl. That's just not me. I'm a little more subtle than that. But this is what it looks like. So it's polka dotted on the inside and it is cute. It's just not my thing. Like the whole cactus and the bright pinks and all of that. It's just not me. So I didn't love it. Okay. But I did love this. I think this is really cute. I love how it says this month's dose of happiness and it has like favorite um, top goals this month and then it just has a space. I like that it doesn't have like I'm reading right now, I'm doing right now, blah, 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 that you guys know if you've been watching me for any length of time, I never use that because this is going to be my memory planner. So this is kind of just the highlights of the month and I love that. And I also love the designs. So this is really pretty. I love the little images on the holidays. My other Happy Planner has that as well. They did a good job with that this month. And then these are the weekly layouts. It just says notes with some grid lines. It's really simple, but it's still whimsical and fun. And it's still really cute around the edges. So I really liked it, okay? So this is February. See, again, it's just really cute. I do like it a lot. There's the monthly it matches. And then March looks like St. Patty's Day. I like it. Okay. So these, the actual dividers and the monthlies and the month's introduction, I loved. So I didn't love the color. didn't love the discs. I definitely wanted to change those. And I probably would have gotten a different color disc. I love this disc color, but this is the only one they had. <laughs> so I do love the disc color, but it doesn't match the planner perfectly, but that's okay. This is May, and I don't mind this being on the divider. I just don't like it as the cover, and Killian's going to come talk to us. Mommy. What, baby? What does it call it? I don't know, baby. I think your brother had it in his room. Go look under his pillow. I, I think he hid it under his pillow. There's June. Of course, I love this because I'm in love with lemons. I really love all citrus things. Lemons, yes. This is July. Super cute. August. September. October. October's really cute. I love that purple and orange. I love it. Go 
I'll go Power Rangers. Um, instead of the black and the orange, the purple and orange. I love that. It's really pretty. November and December. So I do like it. And then the back, the fr the back is just polka dotted again. And then the back is um, striped. So that is that. And that's going to be my memory planner. To be completely honest with you, I'm going to put a happy planner leather cover on it. And I'm going to probably cover this up most of the time. <laughs> so I might still keep this on here. But I'm going to have something that covers it. Because I just don't love this cover. It's just not my thing. But I do like the planner a lot. So there's that. And then the last two things I got were these two sticker books that I didn't have. You've probably seen these a thousand times. But I'll flip through them Anyway, I do have the mom one, but this is super mom, so it is different, and it is adorable. It's 1657 pieces, and with this, these were all the Happy Planner and Planner accessories were 40% off. That was just the Happy Planner brand, so that included these sticker books, and then I had an extra 20% off on top of my entire purchase, so I had that. So these are really cute, and I'll try to turn them the right way so you can kind of see them. It's hard for me to do it with my right hand because I'm left-handed. They're just really functional. I love this script. I love how they're clear stickers. They're absolutely perfect. I probably could have used like 5,000 more pizza nights because that's pretty much every week. We have at least one of those. Every week we eat pizza like once a week. Sometimes it's more. I'm not even going to lie to you. We just love pizza. <laughs> there's that Th I mean they're just perfect they're so perfect I love them I love these tiny little flags you can do so much layering and cute stuff in your planner with that so stinking cute I love it I love the simplicity of them but they're still so stinking cute I just like it a lot These icons are adorable. So yeah, there's those. Look at how cute the coffee cups are. Like, they're so cute. Okay, and then I got the tinies. And the tinies are just more of the same. It's really cute icons that I can just use for layering. And I love them. I love them. These are probably my favorite. It's just so stinking cute. So I was really happy to get these. And these have been out for a while. I just haven't picked them up yet. I've been picking up kind of like two at a time every time when there's a sale like that. And so that's what I did. Really cute. Okay. So now moving on to Tuesday morning, I really didn't find a lot. I was pretty disappointed. I went to two different stores, and the second store I went to is my big Tuesday morning. And they were like, yeah, we haven't put out, out all of the boxes. There's still some in the back as far as the craft section goes from this truck. And I was like, okay, so maybe I can go back and see if they have some more. But this is what I got, okay? So I'm going to go through it really quickly. And let's just start with these here. So I was really excited to find these and I was excited about their price because they were only 99 cents and they're so cute. I use these so much in junk journals. So you get a bunch of different scalloped envelopes and then you get the regular, you know, standard kind. Um, so it comes with 12 and they're adorable. And I, like I said, I use these a lot in junk journals. You can use these in your planner. You can use these on a lot of different projects. So I got two packs because they were 99 cents and that's a great price to me for 12 of them, especially how much I like them. And then I did find they had a lot of tubes of washi and I was tempted to buy a couple of more, but these are the ones that I really fell in love with and I'm trying to be good and only buy things that I really love so that I will use them because I'm finding that I'm wasting a little bit because I just don't love it. Um, this comes with a pretty good amount. Like this is a good amount of washi that this one comes with. The other one not so much but these are super super cute. I love them. The ones with foil come with a little bit less 
whereas these com this comes with a little bit more, as you can tell. But all of these prints are just really, really pretty to me. I think they're so pretty. I love the color palette. So I love that. And that's a Firefly brand, which I don't even know where that comes from, to be honest. Maybe you guys know. But they're really cute, and I really liked them. This is me, like these more muted, soft tones, kind of bohemian a little bit, you know, the bird lady, yeah. And then these were just so cute. This is by American Crafts. It's just really cute. You get three, three yard, two, five yard. So it's 19 yards of washing all together. And they're really girly and soft and feminine. I just love them. Look at the girl with the eyelashes and she has blush on her cheeks. And then the nail polishes. But as you can see, you don't get a lot. It's like Target dollar spot kind of thing. But they are like really wide washy, whereas this is not, you see? Like this couldn't fit in this tube. So you do get a little bit more than it looks like you do. But anyways, there's those, so I'm super excited to use those. And then I found a couple of things from, there was some Christmas stuff that I did want, but honestly, I have a lot of Christmas stuff that I'm still using. I'm trying to use what I have, and I don't know how much more Christmas I'm going to do because I have put a few junk journals that are Christmas in my shop. But this was only $1.99. It was the Bow Bunny Noteworthy. It comes with 64 pieces of die cuts. And die cuts are just hard for me to pass up. I mean, I use these in junk journals like a crazy lady. And look at those houses. Like, that's why I couldn't say no. Because the houses are just too stinking cute. Like, I couldn't deal with it. So, I bought them. And I love how there's, like leaning towards traditional colors with the yellow and the browns and all of that. And there's a little bit of, like, a light red in there. It's kind of a muted red, not quite pink, but then there are some pinks and like baby blues and there are greens in here, but you see how all the colors kind of meld together. Like it's a mix between pastels and traditional kind of mixed and I love that. It looks very old fashioned and gorgeous and who can say no to that? Not me. And then I found two different things from the Stargazer collection. Like this is um, I have the Stargazer paper pad and I don't even know if I've used any of it because it's so dang gorgeous and you only get one of each print. So I'm like, how am I supposed to use this? And I haven't been able to find another one. But these are just so stinking cute. So I got these for the stickers. Can you even see the whole thing? They're just super cute and they match that collection. So I got these to use with those projects when I finally break down and cut into it. And then these are just the chipboard stickers that go with it as well. These would be really cute on cards. So, cute. I like it. Alright, so there's that. And then I got... Um, let me just do these so I can get them off my lap. I did find this. It's really pretty. It has 18 sheets of double-sided designer paper, and then it has one sheet of stickers. So it was $5.99, and it is beautiful. I love this. Like for um, I almost said Halloween. Did you hear that? I literally almost said Halloween. Um, for Valentine's Day. It's really vintage for Valentine's Day and I absolutely love it. I think it is beautiful. So these are all the papers you get. And then if you can see, this is the stickers. And the stickers are backwards because I think somebody was looking at them. So I'll show you the stickers. I'm not going to take all the papers out, but I will show you the stickers. And I don't even think they're really stickers. I think Oh, yes, they are. It seems like they were coming apart, but they're beautiful. I love it. I just think they're so gorgeous. So this will be really fun for Valentine's Day, so I'll probably get that started soon. A little Valentine's project. And then... 
Last but not least, as far as paper goes, I did pick up this because it's just stinking adorable. And it's slightly sassy. It's photo play. It was also $5.99. And it's just really, um, you can see it's like super retro with all the papers and the cut aparts and all of that. This is some of the cut aparts and things that you get that are super retro. Sorry about the glare. And then this is the sticker sheet that goes with it. And it was just too cute to pass up. I can't even deal with it. It's so stinking sweet. I love it. So, you obviously need an expert opinion. Mine. Yes. Keep cake moist by eating it in one sitting. Like, I love it. It's just so cute. So, there's that. And then, what I was most excited to find was these sticker books. They did have the other one, I think... I can't remember if they had one other one or two other ones. But these were at Hobby Lobby like a year ago for $19.99. And they never, ever, 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 ever went on sale. So the most you could get off of them was 40% off if you used a coupon and got them one at a time. I never did that. And I was never going to pay $20 for a sticker book. I mean, I just, I'm not going to do that. Like $6.99, that's pushing it. You know what I mean? But $6.99 is totally worth it. So, I did get this one. This one's Dear Lizzie. And this is based off of the Stargazer paper. So, from what I can tell, they picked a paper pad from their collection and they based a sticker book off of it. So, of course, I was excited to get this. And this is like planner stickers. So, this is... Did I say it was on the Stargazer collection. I think that what she did, this is a couple of her different paper pads because this is not just Stargazer. The beginning part of it is, and I think that's why I opened my mouth and said that too early. This is the Stargazer collection for sure. So you can see, like, count the stars, find true love, be free. Yeah. So this is for sure. And then you just get lots of full boxes. See, you can see that. Get these guys. And I don't want to take forever on this because you guys have probably seen these. I mean, they were in Hobby Lobby a year ago. But they're gorgeous. And I was so happy to find them. 504 Pretty Things posted them on her Instagram page. And I was like, oh, those are cute. Those are the ones. I wanted them so bad from Hobby Lobby and I restrained myself and now finally I have them for a much lower price so yes I had to wait a whole year but I, I did end up getting them so super cute super super cute and I'm trying to go faster but it's just not flipping very well some washi strips and this is another one I have this paper pad as well but I don't remember what it's called lovely day that's what it's called it's called lovely day and I love that paper pad too. I don't want to cut into it either. I think that's what this one is. Lovely day. So cute. With the critters and the houses and the cuteness. And then you just get all of these for that color palette. Perfect for your planner. And I love them. I just think they're adorable. These would be cute for my mini happy I just love them. So here's this. This. Okay. I gotta go faster because my battery is dying. Then there was this one. It's Jen Hadfield. And this is... I know what this is too. I have this paper pad as well. But I don't remember exactly what it's called. It's... Uh, I know what it is. But I can't remember. It's it's a family-based kind of paper pad. And I can't remember what it's called. Oops, I keep doing that. It's really muted and absolutely beautiful. Really, this is more of my style as far as my planner goes. These overlays are to die for. And this is all based on that paper pad. Like, this looks so much like the cut-aparts in the paper pad. 
and I can't remember what the stinking and these are the cut aparts like all of these cut aparts are in that paper pad I just don't remember exactly what it's called simple life or I don't think that's right it is really cute though either way it's all about being thankful and for your families and things like that it's really really cute it could be simple life I don't know I don't think that's right though I think it's something else so if you know what it is leave it down there and if I if I look at it oh homemade is that what it is it's probably homemade because that sounds correct to me but that could be wrong too I'm not sure but it's based off of that paper pad it looks exactly like it and then honestly this was probably my favorite one which is crazy because I'm such a color lover but here lately I've just been drawn to more muted tones and I don't know if it's because it's winter like it's going into winter and all of that that could be it but I just love it these are just beautiful to me I think they're so cute love it I love all the full boxes I think they're so pretty and all this foiling is really gorgeous the letters are super cute love it Ugh, I wish I could get some sleep those are so pretty okay so that is all I got from both stores. I know it is a travesty. It really was not that much. All in all, it was probably like $85 worth for the whole shebang. And that's just not a lot. I mean, you know, it is. I'm so happy to get it. But at the same time, I wanted to find a lot more things. But I did not find them. So maybe I will next time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos. I do have more coming up. So... Towards the end of the year, I have lots of planner videos coming up. And then towards the beginning of the year, I have even more. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye, guys.